Hey, good morning, Glamette. So let's get into this. I um, am going to try and make this quick because they are already out here with these damn um, mowers and blowers and crap. And I'm trying to figure out what in the world are they edging and stuff. It's, it's raining. Um, yeah, go sit your ass down somewhere with all this noise. So I got my coffee, as you can see. Oh, this is going to go on my nose. I'll tell you what. This full moon energy is something else. I have noticed I'm a new moon type, type of person, obviously. Because this full moon makes me so cranky. Everything gets on my nerves. So, let's get into this. Um... Oh my God, this is gonna get on my nerves. Like I'm really trying to figure out what in the hell. Like I'm sitting and I'm sitting out here on my patio watching, right? They they just they don't even know somebody watching them. You just pressing the button. You ain't even clipping, edging, doing nothing. You just making a bunch of damn noise early in the morning. Okay, we're gonna get into this because I'm irritated. Um, so. Yesterday, I told you guys to work on your credit. That was the first thing that I recommended. And I'm going to give you another one while I'm getting the messages. Give me the messages that you have for my glamettes. Give me messages that you have for my glamettes. So number two is focus on your health. Focus on your health. Since we've been in quarantine, I've been fasting. Focus on your health. Give me any messages. Give me any messages. So since we've been in quarantine, I have been fasting um, between 18 and 20 hours a day. Okay. I know that you guys have probably seen that black people, African American people have been um, affected at a higher rate than others. Okay. And um Actually, when I did my thesis for my master's, because I actually have a master's in health science. Excuse me, I'll take a sip. When I did my thesis, I did it on health disparities in the African American community with a focus on diabetes, because we have the highest rates of diabetes. And there's several factors that go into it. Um, you know, it's cultural because of the way that we eat. Uh, also the way that we feel about healthcare professionals that dates back to our ancestors. Um, it, just different like obesity, which uh, again is linked to the, to the way we eat. Um, finances, because we normally or typically don't have the money to spend for healthier foods or whatever. Um, and not all, you, but I'm talking about people that, that's living in poverty. And, you know, um, what does I say financial and and educational they don't they're not educated about health the way others are okay so there's several factors that go into why there's a health disparity why uh, African Americans are being affected more than others like I said I guarantee like they're not gonna tell you all these things but I guarantee if you look at the the, the African Americans that have been affected I guarantee they have some kind of underlying condition like diabetes, obesity, hypertension. Um, just with diabetes, there's so many things that go along with that. You have eye problems, kidney problems, you know, renal failure, that type of thing. So I would say that the second thing that you need to focus on to come out in a better position would be to focus on your health. Get some kind of health plan together. Like I said, since we've been on quarantine, I've been fasting 18 to 20 hours a day. Okay? I try to get outside and walk at least 30 minutes a day. Um, if you can change your diet, change your diet. Just make small changes. So how does this affect everything else? Okay? When you're healthy, when you're at a healthy weight, especially women, you're more confident. I feel like a lot of you guys deal with certain stuff because you don't feel good about yourselves. When you don't feel good about yourself, you will you will allow certain things because you don't think that you can get better. See, there's always a link. Okay? 
when you feel good, when you look good, you give off a different vibration. You attract a different kind of person when you feel good about yourself. So if you don't focus on your health besides anything but just out of vanity, I don't care. Do it. I don't care. There's nothing wrong with wanting to look good. Nothing. And, and actually, you just get more respect from people in general when you look good. I can go to the store looking like a bum. And men will let the door slam in my face. People will um, disregard me because of the way I look. But if I get all dressed up and put makeup on and heels and that type of thing, the treatment is totally different. So, and that will go for romantic partners. That works with jobs, especially where men are um, leaders or the leaders. So say you want a job where the man is a man, where a man is a manager, look good. Look good, you'll get further. When I used to work in the office, making sure I look good, men will fall over trying to do stuff for me. I barely did any work. <laughs> All I had to do was come to work and look like a woman. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, you want to be healthy for your family, your children, that type of thing. But you want to be healthy and look good for yourself also. So I would say focus on the second thing that you need to do. The first thing I told you was to work on your credit. The second thing that you need to do is focus on your health. Focus on the way you look. Change your hairstyle. Practice with makeup. You know, that type of thing. Shameless plug. Go buy my Glam Cafe makeup brushes. I got a whole rose gold set um, that'll do your whole face and eyes. Uh, but yeah, focus on yourself. Focus on looking good. Exercise a little. That type of thing. Okay, so let's get into this. So within a few weeks, within the next few weeks, so I feel like there's a question that's been on your mind and you've been thinking about something and I feel like whatever it is, you're gonna get some kind of answer within the next couple of weeks or within the next few weeks. And I am gonna pull out the book because I, I don't know these things by heart. Get more information. So there may be some kind of business you're pondering, thinking about, or there may be, you may be questioning a relationship and, and should you get into it. This is telling you to get more information, okay? And I feel like when you do, when you have the right information, it will lead to success, okay? But let me get the book and see what this says. So, get more information. The situation you're asking about requires more, in, more information in, in order for you to make a wise decision approach those knowledgeable about the topic to solicit their advice if there if, if there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter ask for their observations you may need to do some some analytical research in order to get the data needed this could include reading books taking classes or seminars or gathering information from the in, um, internet so you may just want to ask somebody's opinion about something maybe there's a relationship issue that you're having and you need to get a second set of eyes. Or a neutral opinion. Because a lot of times we're too close to the situation to really analyze it. Okay. Success. Let's see. Congratulations. You are on the road to success. You needn't have any reservations about your situation. As it's going to work out beautifully. Part of living a successful life is taking care of yourself. Just said that. <laughs> it's wonderful to have many things to be grateful for but make sure you don't wear yourself down by working too hard take time to enjoy peace in your life okay and within the next few weeks let's see what you asked about will happen this month or soon thereafter your patience is being rewarded okay so something that you've been thinking about something that you've been asking about something that you've been wondering about and then within the next few weeks, so that said, within this month or, or soon thereafter, you will see um, the manifestation of it. So let's get into the regular card. So what do we want to do? Do we want to do, let's do, okay. Yeah. What will my Glamets experience in love today that's positive? What will my Glamets experience in love today that's positive? What 
with my Glam Max experience and love today that is positive. We pulled that yesterday, I believe, or the day before, but perseverance. So you're going to get a second wind <clears throat> today. Let me clarify. So I feel like something, so I feel like you're tired of waiting, waiting on something, okay? Or I feel like you're getting tired of waiting on something. But it's tough, but it already told you that within the next few weeks, um, you're going to see the manifestation of it. So I feel like you're going to get a second wind. You're going to get, you know, this nine of wands is somebody who is tired, but they're standing strong, okay? So I feel like you, if you're tired of waiting with the three of wands in reverse, could be dealing with a fire sign, heavy fire energy here. So you could be tired of waiting or getting tired of waiting, but you're going to get a second win here today. Um, you may hear some kind of information or get some kind of message that's going to renew your faith in things. Yeah, you're going to remain open today with this high priestess in reverse. So I feel like you're going to remain open. That high priestess in the upright is very closed off. So I feel like today you're going to remain open. Which is positive. What will my glam mats experience today that is negative? My glam mats experience today that is negative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you could be dealing with a Scorpio air sign or, or a earth sign. So I feel like somebody from your past, a past breakup. Okay, so somebody from past breakup is going to come back around offering a crumb. Okay, that whenever I see that page of pentacles, I always think of a crumb. So that's minimal effort in my book. Also, you could just be receiving a message from this person. But this is somebody who I feel like you've had a previous breakup with. And this four swords in reverse means they're going to, they, they want to come back around. Okay. Why is this page of pentacles? Why is this page of pentacles here? Okay. So they may have, so they may have come to some kind of revelation or they may, um, wow, bottom of the deck. What you don't see is the death in reverse. So yeah, this person wants to come back around. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. So this person may have come to some kind of conclusion or a revelation that you are their wish fulfillment. Okay, that you are what makes them happy. So why I say why what I think is negative about this is that for one, they're coming as a page with that page of pinnacle. That's a small offer. So that's like the hey big head text that type of thing. Um, trying to fill you out and see where you're at. That's how I take that. And then also with this with this tower here, something major had to happen in order for you guys to separate. So you're really going to need to really, you know, ah. You're going to need to get more information before you decide to engage in this. Okay. You're going to need to get more information. I love when the cars come together like that. Um, you're going to need to get more information before you engage in this. This could just be coming back around, you know, because of the quarantine. <laughs> you just never know. So what is the advice? What is the advice for my glam ants? <clears throat> I 
I feel like this is telling you that this isn't going to be stable with this King of Pentacles in reverse. They're going to come back around, but they're not stable, okay? Whether it be financially, well, typically financially with that King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but they're not stable. It's not going to be uh, foundational like you would want it to be. With this Queen of Swords in reverse, this is, so the Queen of Swords upright is very logical, very, you know, head of a heart. She cuts through the crap, you know, and I feel like we feel like it. I feel like when it's in reverse, it's kind of telling you to, just to ease up a little bit and let things play out the way they're, that they're going to. Because with that Wheel of Fortune there, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Like that Wheel of Fortune means that it is destiny and it's faded, okay? Whenever, give me a second. So when I'm asking for advice, that's the same as, as it being in the outcome position. This is really going to get on my nerves. Wheel of Fortune is in the advice position or the outcome position. It's basically saying that you won't be able to, I won't be able to, you won't be able to predict exactly what's going to happen. So when it's in that position, you won't be able to really um, predict what's going to happen. With that high priestess in reverse, it was telling you to stay open. And I feel like with this queen of swords in reverse, it's telling you the same thing. To kind of just let it play out, okay? What I will say is that this king of pentacles is telling me that they, they may come back perpetrating to be something that they're not to be more stable than they really are, to be more financially set than they really are. So I think this is telling you that, you know, even if they do come back around, it won't be stable. But you're gonna have to let it play out with that Wheel of Fortune there. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, so I feel like this is gonna end up being more of a, I'm on the deck so I feel like this connection is a strong one but it's going to be more burdensome than it's worth which is why you got had that tower moment in the first place so I feel like it's going to be more burdensome than um than it's worth to be honest with you let's pull some Tetris tarot So you may have made a decision to move on, okay? And remember in the um, in the positive pile, we had the nine of wands and the three of wands in reverse. That could be you just really standing strong on that decision and turning your back on the situation because you're, you were tired of waiting for any type of real change. So that can also mean that. Hmm. So you may have been dealing with somebody that was married was this person married? Oh, oh my goodness. So King of Pentacles definitely is a husband and a father. So you may have been dealing with somebody who was married. And this is saying that a divorce left them financially drained. So like I said, 
they're not as financially well off as maybe when you met them in the beginning and also you may have been gotten tired of them you may have gotten tired of waiting for them to leave that situation which you know would explain that three of wands in reverse let me give another message mm -mm -mm. they are not showing you the real them they are wearing a mask again again king of pentacles in reverse they are putting on they are not what they're presenting is not really what it is give me one more message that's why it's telling you that's why your angels are telling you to get more information okay put yourself out there okay which is what i talked about in the beginning about focusing on yourself and your health when you feel better when you look better and you feel better about yourself you will have no problem getting out there a lot of you stay and put up with crap because you don't feel good enough about yourself and you don't think or you don't feel like anybody else will want you focus on take this time to focus on getting yourself back looking good so and not by anybody else's standards you just get to a point to where you're confident that's all okay you don't have to be you know Beyonce or whatever but just get yourself to a point to where you feel confident you feel confident in your clothing you feel confident when you walk out the house you know you feel just make yourself feel confident and the, and the rest will take care of itself because people are attracted to people who are confident okay so um i'm sorry about that noise uh yeah so yesterday was focus on your credit I, and i put the links to this guy that i used his system um a while ago and fixed my credit i'm going to be using it again um while on quarantine and no i i, I, I I don't get anything from it. I don't make any money off of it. It's just a good system. And I think the cheapest uh, level that he has, has is like $9. So yesterday was fix your credit. And today is focus on your health. And I'll talk to you guys soon because this is starting to get on my nerves. So I'm going to go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.